social media phenomenon. Okay, so basically, guys, what happened in this, um, for this fight to happen was, uh, the whole entire Gabi Rangers squad beat the shit out of Fanny, and the GM was like, Fanny, you're getting a women's title shot later, and your boyfriend is also getting a uh, world title shot. And then the next week on Raw, Fanny revealed that Logan Paul was actually her, um, you know, boyfriend. So now he gets the title match against Heyman, even though they never even, like, crossed, you know. This is the first time they're actually going to meet each other face to face. Which, of course. Wait, what was I going to Which, of course, makes a perfect world title match. Logan Paul. We love you, Logan Paul. What you gonna do? Across the ring from Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. You're right, Corey. Logan Paul accomplished something that few ever have. And Rey Mysterio was the one who felt the honor. There's a champion, Paul Heyman has not lost his title in a long time. I forget when he won this title. This might have been the title he won in November, for all I know. I really have to check out the, the, um, the, the stats, like so I'm not done so in a bit. Game plan is, Corey. The champ has got to do Just like my problem. The dance. They're in this top spot for a reason, and they need to remember why. And if they don't, we might just have a new champion here tonight. Social media buzzing as it always does. Finish line, I could see the championship. Now remember, every single member of the Gobby Rangers has the same theme song because they all unanimously agreed that Dewdrop's theme song is the best theme song in the company. So they just all come down to it because it gets them really hype. This, of course, is Paul Heyman's first title match since losing the other world title to Batista, who will face in the main event tonight, of course. Can't forget about that. Logan Paul's a tiny boy. That's probably Logan Paul's real weight, but it's funny because he does not look that small compared to like everybody else. The dude's like 6'3", he has pretty good size. If he's like 185, then a lot of people are like around 175 probably. It is the richest prize our industry has to offer. This is the WWE Championship. For over 50 years, the WWE Championship has stood as the premier championship in professional wrestling, and tonight we may see a new chapter in its storied history. Both champion and challenger are motivated by the biggest prize of them all, the man who lays play taking flight. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Oh, what a punch. A uh, snap air. Big boot. Oh, well scouted by Paul. Could Paul him and do it? They even say Paul. They say his name. That's crazy. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Just stomping every single part of his body. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good! Oh, oh man! He's back into the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He's stalking his per uh, so Oh my god, his opponent. This is crazy. From the top! Good lord! Taking flight! It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh! 
What does it take to weather the storm of an Extreme Rules match? It takes a lot of guts. The ruthless nature of an Extreme Rules match means only the toughest superstar can succeed. So you have to be ready to really put your courage to the test. What a smash. This, I'm tired. Isn't my commentary just amazing? At the very least, like, at least I'm getting 12 videos recorded in two separate days. So now I could, like, I don't have to worry about rushing these videos out. Which is cool. I always kind of just get kind of bored when doing these pay-per-view ones, though. Like, I love pay-per-views because, like, they're the simplest ones to do. You just do six matches and they take up six videos and you're all good. But it's like, I can't really play them. So it's kind of like, uh... It's the give and take. Basically, spending an hour and 15 minutes of your time commentating, you know, much. Not that I'm actually even recording this whole pay-per-view because, like, I really can't. It'd be difficult, kind of, to manage. But yeah. He manages to escape it. Able to evade. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Look at this pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. He just barely dodges. And he'll come back from under the apron. He gets back into the ring. Guillotine applied. This one could end soon. Oh, body is not meant to tap out. Jesus Christ, he tapped out already. And the champ retains. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's hey, another look. Take the time. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Wow, you did it. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Well, Paul Heyman wins. Yet two matches left. So this is only the fourth match I recorded? I thought I was, like, making good time. I guess I am, but still. All right, I gotta kind of make this video a little bit longer somehow. So we got two matches left: uh, Dewdrop, you know, versus Fanny in a two out of three falls match, and then we got Paul Heyman versus uh, Batista? Question mark. Where Paul Heyman wants his uh, world title back. So will he do it? I don't know. My prediction is, um, I think Paul Heyman and Dewdrop will win their matches respectively. Though I do think Batista has a chance of winning. I really don't think. Fanny has a chance of winning two drop, but anything could really happen. So who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.